This is number 10 about rotating. We have these points 180 degrees counterclockwise rotation around D. That's the tricky part here. So I have everything graphed. And what I did is I said, well, how far is each point from D? And I started here at D and I went to A. And I said, one, two, three, four, five, six to the left. Doesn't go up at all or down. B goes one, two, three, four to the left, one, two, and three up. And then C looks like it goes one to the left and two up. And I have those. And then I said, all right, so let's see the lefts and the ups. So if it's 180 degrees counterclockwise, it starts here, rotates like that, two spots. So left becomes right and up becomes down. So left will now be right and up will be down. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. So if I move A, A now six to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, that should be A. B, four to the right and three down. Okay, B. From D, got to go this, four to the right, one, two, three, four, four to the right, and three down, one, two, three. That's B. C, one to the right, two down, one to the right, one, two. That frustrating moment when everything disappears. Let's see, this was one, two, three, four, five, six. That was A. I just did C. I need to do, no, I need to do C. No, I already did C. It's B. B, four to the right, three down. One, two, three, four to the right, one, two, three down. Now, hopefully, if I would connect these, it would look like the same. Ooh, this will be fun. Let's see how straight can I make it. Yep. Yep. Okay. It goes down a little bit and then right there. That should look like 180 degree rotation. Let me change my color for a second. Make sure we have these points in the right place. I know there's a point right there. And there's one, I believe, right there, one, two, three, four. Let's be right there. One right there. All right. So now that I've done the rotation using my diagram, I should be able to figure out those points. And remember, I have A here, and then B, and then C. And I can kind of see how the whole thing just kind of rotated like that. So A came here. That looks like something and something. There you go. That's how I do it. I would I would really stick with using this and finding out how far things are from the rotation point, which in this case was was D. Remember how far to the left, how far up, and then right and right and down. There you go.